Hello chess lovers, Sulvan here and in this video I want to share with you one of the finest chess miniatures ever. With white pieces playing German chess master Jack Mises and his opponent is Johannes Oquist from Finland. Oquist was the co-founder of the Helsinki Chess Club, he was a Finnish official, language teacher, art historian and writer. This game was played in 1895 in Nuremberg and Mises who was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4 to which the Finnish chess player answered with Scandinavian defense d5, it takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c3 and the queen retreats back on its initial square. This is called Mises Kotrok variation. d4 and knight c6. With this move Black is attacking the pawn on d4 but this is not a good idea. In here just by going for d5 white can create problems for black. If knight d5 then queen d4 harassing black knight further. In here, instead of playing knight c6, the best move is considered to be knight f6 or you can play e6, c6, but in our game we have knight c6. Instead of d5, Mises played knight f3 and bishop g4. Looks like that already he wants to win a pawn, but at this point already Mises pushed forward his d pawn, d5, attacking black knight. Knight e5, which is a terrible mistake and is losing on the spot. In here it was better either to move back the knight on b8 or capture on f3 and only then play knight b8. But in our game, after d5, we have knight e5. Black is intensifying the pin, but Mises answer totally shocked his opponent. As typical positions you have seen many times on my channel, I'm sure that in a blink of a second you found white's next move. And that move is a staggering knight takes e5. On move 7 white is sacrificing his queen, but relying on the vulnerability of a4 e8 diagonal is going to crush black king. All black could do was to accept the queen sacrifice and there we have it bishop b5 check. By the way, I have to tell you that a similar idea can be also seen, for example, in Nimtsovich defense. For example, after e4, if you play a move like knight c6, then after d4, d6, knight f3, bishop g4, d5, knight e5, white can bring into life a similar idea by capturing on e5 and then bishop b5 check. Uh, games starting with this line I have already shared. So one of them will probably pin in the comment section, but meanwhile, let's proceed with our game. So in our game, after knight takes e5, we have bishop takes d1 and bishop b5 check. All black could do was to play c6 and this time we have d takes c6. The threat is c7 discover check followed by bishop d7 checkmate, right? And if a6 then... Anyways, white can go for c7 check, but uh, this is actually a better line than the one we see in our game. But even in this case, black has no chance of saving the game. In the end of the day, when the dust settles, white has an extra piece and this is going to be an easy win. In our game, after the take c6, we have queen c7, black blocked the c pawn's path, but this time we have c takes b7 check. Yes, there is no way to stop this monster. And by capturing on b7, white is announcing a discovered check. And yeah, at this point already black king is in a mating net. There is a checkmate in one. If queen c6, then white can go for a rook promotion. Let's go for a rook promotion and announce a checkmate. But in our game, after c takes b7 check, black played king d7 and got checkmate hit after white's knight f7 move. A very beautiful chess miniature, right? I have to tell you that there is also another game where we can see a similar idea. That game was played in 1985 between Gens and Boehmer. The game went on in the following move order. White opened up with d4 and after d5 played c4. Knight f6, he takes d5, knight takes d5. Let me quickly share with you that game. And yeah, after knight e5, white captured on e5, and then 
bishop b5 check followed c6 d takes c6 queen c7 and after c takes b7 resignation followed yeah now if king d8 then white can announce a checkmate like the one we see in our game in our game the final position is this one and i hope that you enjoyed this marvelous chess miniature on move 7 we saw queen sacrifice and already on move 11 checkmate appeared on the board what sorcery is this i have no idea in the end let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for white it's white to move and i will wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching in the end feel free to check out these suggestions as well i will see you in my next video take care